This video is brought to you by Bose, introducing the new A20 aviation headset with improved noise reduction and Bluetooth connectivity. And by XMWX Satellite Weather. Never fly blind again. See us in Air Venture Booth 3037. I'm Mary Grady reporting for AvWeb from Air Venture 2010, and we're in the Oma Sud display. They're an Italian manufacturer making components for Airbus, Boeing, and other airplane companies. But this is their first original general aviation aircraft, the Skycar. We're going to talk with the president of Oma Sud and give you a look at this interesting new airplane. Okay, good morning. I am Walter Proietti. I am the chairman of Oma Sud. This is a company that is producing the Skycar. It's a, a very innovative uh, uh, creation in uh, the aeronautic field. We have tried uh, to combine uh, the capability of the aeronautic field with the uh, capability of uh, automotive field for the study of layout, for the study of internal volume, for the study of the cabin in order to offer the maximum comfort to the pilot and to the passenger. The main capability of the aircraft is that it can take off and land in a very short uh, uh, distance. The landing gear is very strong, it can operate in not prepared airfield with grass, uh, with ground, without problem. We are operating during the last uh, two years and a half without problem on a grass airfield. This aircraft is sold at 61 knots and for its fuselage is a very low speed. The aircraft has been designed initially to be a patrolling aircraft. It means that we need to have a very large cabin in order to offer to the pilot that they have to fly for six, seven hours this is the endurance of the aircraft, seven hours and a half, in uh, the best way, the best possible way, uh, with the large visibility. We have opened uh, a window uh, on the upper fuselage and the down fuselage in order to permit to the pilot to check also during the 360 around uh, a possible uh, interest, every part without uh, move in a strange way. Another uh, important thing for the uh, pilot uh, is that there are no vibrations inside uh, uh, the aircraft because the pusher uh, uh, configuration of the aircraft uh, can uh, reduce the vibration and the noise uh, internal of the cabin because they are outside the cabin. Another important thing is the rear door uh, uh, can be opened during the flight uh, also for the launch of parachute, uh, for uh, charter, uh, for uh, transport of goods. The speed of the aircraft uh, is uh, 170 knots per hour and uh, the cruise speed is uh, 140-145 cruise uh, uh, knots uh, per hour. Uh, and uh, the aircraft uh, is configured in the standard version for five people, one pilot and four passengers in a very wide cabin. You must consider that it is one feet larger and wider than Mercedes E-Class. Uh, the aircraft is uh, 750,000 euro, that means uh, less than one million dollar in the uh, uh, United States. The aircraft has been certified by European authority EASA in the last December and we are waiting for the FAA approval during this year. There has been several meetings between the two authorities. The FAA approved all the tests we have realized with EASA and I think that for the end of October we will receive also the FAA approval. 